All right, time to play some Ace 3 VR. We got a good new update today with a lot of stuff to talk about, so let's get to it. All right, first up, just ignore that over there. Don't look at that. All right, first up, we've got the new toy right here, the APS, or the, oh my goodness, oh, I'm trying to remember what the, uh, of the Matichewski Pistola Stechkina. I think. Uh, sorry if my Russian is pretty bad. Again, I'm not Russian, so <laughs> I can't really uh, say if that's right or not. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, Stechkin automatic pistol. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good under the light. And uh, let's check out the uh, controls. Got a mag release somewhere. And uh, up on the touchpad is to cycle between safe and I think this is semi-auto and this is full auto. All right, so let's put it on safe. Grab ourselves a mag. Grab ourselves this one. Load it up. And let's go semi-auto. <sighs> okay. Pretty accurate. Uh, couple nines there, but uh, yeah. All right, cool. Well, let's say your uh, trigger finger gets pretty tired. So, you know what? This is also a machine pistol. So let's switch it to fully automatic. Release the slide and... Ooh, nice. Pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's another change that uh, I think uh, I'll talk about later. Anton added to the game. But, uh... Okay. Well, you know what? Let's talk about it now. Okay. So, one of the new changes... Um, before we get into anything else... Is that the magazines now... Don't freak out... When you put a new mag in, I had that problem before. So basically, so now you can do this. And then this magazine doesn't freak out. That's pretty cool. I mean, I think that's a pretty nice quality of life, uh, 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 whatchamacallit, uh, addition to the game. But yeah, all right, so let's move on. We've got some accessories to go along with this toy. First up is the suppressor which is a little funky thing here that's offset. So you get a good sight picture still without the suppressor blocking you. And uh, this turns the, this is a, I think a bespoke suppressor. Not bespoke, you can use it on any other gun, but for this gun, I think this turns it into um, the APB. Uh, um, I think that's how you say it in Russian. Uh, it means noiseless, I think. But basically, it's the APB now, which pairs along well with this wire stock. <clears throat> so now you can be all covert, you know, super Russian agent, uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't reset the target there, but we'll do that right now. And we will shoot. Wow, very accurate with the stock is uh, very good. <clears throat> oh, I'm empty. Oh, one more. Let's go full auto this time. Let's draw a uh, little smile there, maybe some eyes. There we go. Let's go to, uh, whoops, one meter. Ooh, nice. Look at my artwork. <laughs> All right, whatever. But uh, yeah, so there you go. You can also have a sort of the wire stock, which I actually, you know what? You no, know, nope, no. Nope. I, I was thinking is retractable, but probably not. That would be a bad idea. I don't know where the wire would go. <laughs> but we have also got these two uh, interesting stocks here. This one is, I think, a um, sort of like a Bakelite. Polymer, I guess. I don't know what it is. Uh, Russian guns kind of elude me. But that looks pretty cool. 
nice tactical black, I guess. And you've got yourself a wooden stock. I think this also doubles as a um, holster, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a holster. Without the suppressor, obviously. But there is no such kind of a feature in this game, so... Yeah. But there you go, the APS. Pretty cool. And uh, that's that. Next up, I think... Uh, let's see, what should we talk about next? Should we talk about the uh, new RPG-7 model? Or should we talk about the new ammo stuff? New ammo changes? Hmm. Alright, you know what? We'll, we'll talk about the ammo changes. So first, let me spawn up a double barrel. I think you already saw this. Let's just... Whoops, come on. Uh, you can probably see it already. All right, cool, cool. And let's spawn ourselves a tube-fed shotgun. Let's go with a trench gun. A long time since I saw this one. Okay, so this applies more to like loose, loose ammunition like this instead of magazines. But let me just clear all this stuff. Yep, get rid of that. All right, uh, we're gonna go uh, three meters here. So this is the new. Well, technically not new. If you've known anything about modding so far, you'll know one of the features that uh, somebody implemented was called Smart Palming. It's part of the uh, LSIC, or Let's See If It Crashes uh, suite of like code or whatever. And uh, I've been using it for a while. Uh, I just never talked about it because, you know, I mean, it, it doesn't seem that important, but it's a very small thing that really really makes things a lot more um, smoother in general. But all right, so what is smart palming? Smart palming is basically when you grab something from your quick belt, such as a loose pile of ammunition, uh, smart palming is smart, obviously. So let's say you have a double barrel shotgun. You only need two rounds, right? Before smart palming, when you would grab a pile of ammunition, you'd grab the whole pile. So basically you would have to do this, Oh, we'll talk about that too. <laughs> right? And then we'll, we'll talk about that later. But you essentially grab the whole pile. Now with smart palming, instead of grabbing the whole pile, you'll just grab two because there's only two barrels in this thing. Oh, that's it. Now, uh, it works well with shotguns. I think it might also work well with bolt actions and um, revolvers. I'm not too sure. Uh, I haven't tried our revolvers yet, but um, I, I did use them for bolt actions. Uh, we'll talk about that one as well <laughs> later. Don't, don't ignore that. Ignore that. So that's smart palming. So it works basically uh, on, again, mostly loose piles of ammunition. So let's say you got a trench shotgun here. Let's uh, grab one. Whoops. We'll just do that. Don't worry about that. And I think, I don't know if this is full, right? Back then, you would just grab a whole pile and just, you know, stick them in and then, like, have extras that you would put back, whatever. But now with smart palming, oh, I have one more left in the tube here. So let's, uh, should be, huh? Wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, that's weird. But you, you get the idea. So it only pulled out one specifically for this one. I don't know what the uh, why it did that, but that's, you know, you get the general idea. So let's fire off three. Two, three. And it'll basically give us three shotgun shells to top off our shotgun. So how many how many rounds does this have? I don't know, but with smart palming, that should be five. So six, right? So yeah, that's the basic idea of smart palming. 
And, uh, oh yeah, and uh, as you saw, there were other changes to the, um, the ammo system. Basically, now that you have, you know, that smart bombing, if you put two in here, they'll go in together. And then, if you... If you have two, you can do a double load. I think that's what it's called, shotgun thing, right? I've heard of quad loads, but you know, double loads. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, lines them up. They go in really fast, those last two. But yeah, that's smart palming, and I think that will work for, oops, a lot of other guns as well. Just get rid of that. <laughs> so let's see. Um, uh, magazine fed. We'll talk about that one too. There's there's a lot of changes today. So SMG rifle. Let's go bolt action. Let's go with the uh, classic M40A1. This should have smart. Uh, hold on. Let me just uh, get this all prepared here. Okay. So. Oh, look at those new animations, too. I forgot to talk about that, but we'll talk about that soon, I guess. So, all right. Just pretend I'm shooting at something. You know what? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's wait for this to go. I'm going to shoot out about, like, three rounds out of this thing. One. Two. Three. Okay, so you should be able to grab three bullets. There you go. Look at that. One inside of the chamber. And that is smart palming. Where's the target? I don't know where it is. To the up, oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. Well, that works for bolt actions. Cool, cool. Get rid of that. Let's see, what else can we do? Um, what about revolvers? We've got ourselves a... Uh, let's see. Let's go with the uh, python here. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not do the python. Let's do something else. What about... Where is the uh, single action army? In here somewhere. There it is. Okay, cool. Now the single action army. You can spawn a whole bunch of ammo. Oops. That was not good. So you have a whole bunch of ammo. That's more than six, right? This is a six shooter. But with smart palming, you'll pull out six every time. Oh, wow. Those new animations are really nice. Oh, you know what? Let's clear this. Let's go back to uh, three meters. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's uh, reload here. Oh, wait. Oh, that was weird. Hmm. I wish um, these had dimpled primers so I could tell which are already been fired, but uh, we'll just... Uh, you know what? No, I can't do that. <laughs> this is going to be pretty hard. I think... Uh, Yeah, okay, good. So, we need five bullets for this. Pulls out five. One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, I mean, in essence, that's what smart palming is. Makes things a lot easier.
All right, cool. So it works on revolvers as well. Probably lever actions as, uh, as well, too. So let me go and find ourselves a lever action. Hmm, which one? 44 Magnum? Sure, let's do that. Oh, you know what? That's why. Okay, cool. So, let's go back here. One. Okay. That's a little strange. That might be a bug. Because it only pulls out one every time. So that might need some fix in there. That's kind of weird. Should have, what, like six or seven, I think? Eight? Eleven, I think. But yeah, that's uh, that's a glitch. That will probably be fixed later on. Yeah, so you only pull out one. <laughs> well, it doesn't work for everything, but that will be fixed by Anton. Don't worry about that. So that's one thing. Oh, you know what? I'm going to clear all this stuff here. Okay. What else can we uh, try sport, uh, smart palming with? <clears throat> Hmm, I could look at the patch notes. I have to load it up, though. Uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, in essence, that's basically smart palming. So what else can we talk about? What, uh, what can we talk about here? Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember. Uh, what good example can we have here? It's raining really hard, too, so I'm just worried about, like, you know, power outages and stuff like that. Because our power grid is not that great. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, carbines, carbines. What am I looking for here? No, not rifles. Um, hi, here's a good example of a new thing. We can now finally... Come on, there we go. Okay, uh, let me just uh, get prepped here. Ooh, come on. Okay, cool. So, let me just... Uh... Okay, so, let's put a mag inside this uh, M1 Garand. Or sorry, a, a clip inside the mag, and uh... all right. So I haven't tried this feature yet, but you you can lock back the bolt. Oh nope. There we go. It's down on the touchpad, so you can lock the bolt back and top off. Oh wow, Did that actually work. Yeah, I think it did. Okay, cool. So you can top off, like, uh, you can you can lock the bolt off, uh, lock the bolt on some of these rifles. I don't know which ones, but, uh, so in essence, six down on the touchpad. It'll give you six bullets, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, that's another new feature that Anton decided to uh, add. I want to see what the change log says. Hold on, guys. Okay. Uh, let's see. Smart Palm, APS, Stock, Suppressor. Uh, we'll talk about that one later. I'm looking at this uh, list here. Uh, let's see. Cartridge insertion into magazine, smoothly animated. Uh, let's see. Okay, already talked about that. Uh, so, here we go. Sten Mark 6. 
has its sights uh, modified. So there it is. This one didn't have a sight before. Now it does. Has that little tiny, if you can see that little tiny post right there. Should make things a lot easier to aim. You know what? Let's do. Uh, let's uh, let's see if that works. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, cool. What else? Let me check the uh, change log here. So that closed bolt uh, receiver is uh, having the ability to lock back. That works on the M1 Garand, the M14, the uh, SKS variants, all of them. Uh, VZ58 variants, the Model 8, Model 81. So yeah, um, let me just find one here. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Okay, we got a couple. So let's just uh, try this out. Okay. Stick a clip in there. And I think I don't think I can put any more, but we'll just put that out. And we'll shoot the uh, new item spawner. Lock it. Yep, there we go. You lock it open and then... You can smart palm some new bullets in there, which uh, that's strange, but whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah, you guys get the idea, right? You can lock uh, bolts back, which is pretty cool. All right, uh, what else? Oh man, so many, so many changes. I can only get to so many uh, ladder sights on some firearms have been modified. Like the Bren, the 1918 Bar, BAR, sorry, uh, M60 variants, China Lake, RPG-7, we'll talk about that in a minute, M79, Lee Einfeld, Enfield, sorry, Enfield, and the Jungle Carbine, okay. Oh, man, there's so many changes here, so many fixes as well, but uh, yeah, all right. So, before we move on to the final thing, let's just check out the uh, new item spawner. And uh, I think Anton showed this off pretty well, but we've got ourselves some moving pictures now, courtesy of some uh, wizardry. But, yeah, there you go, so... To get a gun, click on the firearms button on the top bar. Use the tag category section on the left to narrow things down. Then, click on a gun icon to select it. And in the rightmost panel, click the spawn button and your gun will appear. To get a gun, you can click on the ammo. You can spawn lock ammo, magazines, speed loaders, and clips to duplicate them. To do this, place the object in one of your quick belt slots. Hover your empty hand over the slot. Click the touchpad slash joyce to open the option. To go back to the to change your to get a gun, you can click to get a you can to get you to, to, get a gun click on the firearms button okay well you understand what what was what that was basically you can now have a nice little tutorial for all you new players out there which is pretty cool although again this is a work in progress some of the uh, videos aren't loading for some reason but some of them are loading so to change your style of locomotion turn your controller around on an empty hand the wrist menu should appear select any of the movement options at the top. Note, there are lots of options to tweak these that are in the options panel. There are general locomotion options and specific options for each locomotion type. Okay, cool. <laughs> I like Anton's, uh, 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 what do you call that voice? The uh, professional, like, you know, I don't know what, what it's called anymore, but uh, it's when you're like really slow and, you know, uh, yeah, but yeah, so there's videos now, audio as well. Uh, 
yeah, uh, <laughs> it's still a work in progress. Like I said, some of these don't load, but uh, it's still pretty cool. You got all these links too, if you uh, need to go to them. But uh, yeah, that should be about it for inside the indoor range. Let's actually go and check out the last thing. And maybe some other things too. I don't, I don't want to say it's the last thing, but let's go to something, some place larger than the indoor range. Let's go outdoors. And uh, let me just clear all this stuff here. Okay, cool. So, let's see. Where is it? The RPG-7. It's got a new model. So, this oh, should be should be workable. Yep. Got some ladder sights that work now. So, let me just adjust my controller here. You can change the zero for this. And you can actually fold it down now, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you can do that with a front sight. Flip down, 100 meters. Let's, che let's check out the uh, rocket here. And uh, I don't know how far that is, but... Uh, oh, we do have a uh, range finder here, so... About 100 meters away, right? Okay. So this is uh, 0 to 100. Okay, wow. Nice. Pretty accurate. The RPG-7 wasn't really known for its accuracy back then. But now that the model has been fixed... Well, that's pretty good. Let's see, what? how far is this next one? About, what, 250? I'm going to say 250. So let's zero this baby. 300. Ah, just a little over. I think I was probably my shakiness. I wonder if the uh, stabilization works on this. I don't think it works, but... I think I got it. Mm, probably not. Maybe a little too short. But it's uh, pretty hard to see over here. But, let's add a sight on this thing. Maybe this will work. Attachments, reflex sights. No, 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 no. Scopes. Let's see. What kind of scopes we got for this one? Eh, we'll use this. Scope now works. Okay. And let's just flip this down. 250. Okay, there we go. Let's see if this works. Can we zoom this in? No, we can't. Okay. We'll just have to uh, wing it here. Ah, missed. Oh, I'm just too shaky right now. <laughs> Try that again. Let me just uh, grab that properly. <sighs> okay, I need to relax. My hands are really shaky. Ah, it's too high. <sighs> I'm going to get this. Come on, we can get this. Oh, man. Just a little lower. Ah, too low. Yeah, my hands are just really not good for this. I don't know if I got it. Nope, I didn't get it. Just a little too short. 
One more try. And then if I don't get it, we'll move on. Ah, yeah, my hands are just too shaky. But yeah, you can use uh, optics on this now, which you could before, but... Uh, but now you can. So, yeah, I think it, it works now. That's what I'm trying to say. Before it didn't work. You just stick it on and it wouldn't be accurate at all. So, <laughs> but now it actually works. It's actually zeroed properly. And, uh, yeah. Hmm, what else? I think that's about it. Oops. I'm trying to think of uh, what else uh, there is. I'm going to look at the... Uh, let me just sit down here and check the... Uh, Let's uh, check the uh, change log here. Fix the quick belt poses for all melee weapons. Finally. <laughs> uh, people have been asking for that for a while, but... Uh, yeah, so basically... Um, if you had, say... Uh, let's see, a baseball bat, right? And then you stuck it in your quick belt. It would stick out like this in your vision, right? You would see this. But now, that's fixed which I can't even see it anymore. Yeah, it's still there. I don't know how that looks. How does that look outside? Let me uh, get the spectator panel here. Uh, let's see, third person. Huh, yeah, it's actually like angled uh, behind. Hmm, cool. All right. That works with a lot of stuff, I guess. Let me see. Oops. Uh, let's uh, grab ourselves a crowbar. Crowbar. Yep. I'm looking at the monitor here. That works pretty well. So no more, no more of this hanging around. Oh wait, you can't see that. No more of this hanging around. All right. <laughs> if you remember, it used to be like this, right? A little exaggerated, but yeah. So okay, what else we got here? Uh, let me move this out of the way here. Oop, ow, that was bad. Hit my wall. Uh, let's see, RPG-7 rocket now flies at correct velocity. Cool. Uh, hairspray can now spawns with a potato gun. Fixed trigger animation on the B-600. Uh, grab pose on the tank of air. M1 Garand irons corrected, so now it's accurate. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it for the important stuff. I'm still reading here. Sorry about that. Load around into magazine. Makes a lower pitch sound, which I can demonstrate that. Let's see, magazine. Oops. Uh, yeah, magazine fed. So let's just, okay. I think smart palming actually works with magazines as well. So oh, it does. I can't really tell about the sounds. It says uh, fixed or um, it says, let's see. Loading around in a magazine now makes a lower pitch sound when loading the last round in capacity wise. So I don't know about magazines, but uh, that's actually pretty cool. That the uh, bed, uh, sorry, the um, smart palming works with the magazines as well. So you grab the total amount from your pouch, right? And then you have two left, right? So grabs two. <laughs> that is so cool. That is a really cool quality of life improvement so now you don't have to worry so like let's say you have a drum mag and you're on limited ammo and you have to load it right It's full. All right, that is 
That is pretty cool. I like that addition. Okay, cool. All right, cool. What else we got here? Uh, let's see. Smooth animations. Okay. All right. And that's it. Wow. We've covered uh, at least the important things. There's a lot of more. There's a lot more fixes in the um, change log. A lot more additions. Uh, not additions, but, uh, you know, just like little, again, improvements. Little tiny improvements that make the game a lot more better. The one that I'm most excited about is the smart palming, which is, uh, again, something that really helps, especially if you're uh, playing limited ammo. I might do a limited ammo run, uh, <laughs> since everything seems to be pretty good now, especially with the, uh, with the um, what's we call it, the uh, magazine retention, and the uh, smart palming. Things could work better. <clears throat> Things should work better in limited ammo. Uh, let me just try one more thing. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's... It should give you... Uh, two, three, four, five, six, five. So, six. Should give you six total. This is already six, right? Oh. Yeah, but it gives you one at a time, which is, uh, again, I think that's just a bug. Watch, I missed this last one. Oh, <laughs> I didn't. Okay. But yeah, it should give you six. That's weird. This is, uh, yeah, this isn't spawn locked. Whoops, that was strange. Hmm. I only captured one. Hmm. What the? What the? That's weird. Hmm. Hmm. That's a strange bug. I think Anton will probably fix that. Two, three, four, five, six. So, in essence, Terrible. Terrible. I'm out. So in essence, what smart palming should do in this case. Grab all six. Ooh, that's weird, huh? That's very strange. Oh, no. Okay. So in essence, what smart palming should do is grab six, right? Yeah, that's, uh... That's a bug. That should be fixed. Oh man, this is... Oh, that's tough. That's tough right there. Not quite. Uh, but, yeah, you know, whatever. It's an alpha. Bugs will be there. Bugs will exist. They will get fixed. So I think lever actions have that problem. But, uh... Oh, you know what? Before we go, let's try the four-letter word here. Get rid of this. Uh, yeah. If you haven't unlocked this in Rot Wieners yet, I spoiled it for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, four barrels should give you four things. Yep. And they all come in at once. <laughs> That's funny. And there is a switch on the side here so that all four barrels will fire at once. Wow, that's just a fast reload right there. Look at that. That is a cool... Ooh. 
Ooh. I didn't I didn't even aim properly that time. I managed to hit something. Okay, cool. I think that's it. Um I think I've got most of the uh new stuff, hopefully. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm trying to remember what's in the video. Honestly, um, I think that's that's about it for today. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. <laughs>